Hi, we're going to demonstrate the procedure for placing a scleral buckle. This patient's getting a scleral buckle in combination with a trectomy. The first step is to make a 360 degree uh, pyridomy. We're leaving a few millimeters from the limbus in order to uh, give the patient more comfort after surgery. After this, the quadrants are dissected using a Steven stenotomy scissor and a subtenon's block is given using a blunt cannula. Next, we're going to isolate all four rectus muscles and we're going to place a 4 silk suture around each muscle. It's important when doing this procedure to dissect back the tenons and make sure that the entire muscle has been looped rather than splitting the muscle. The same procedure is repeated for all four rectus muscles. After all four of the rectus muscles have been, have been looped, we're going to place the encircling band. The band that we're using is the number 41 silicone band, and we're gently and carefully passing the end of the band um, around all four of the uh, rectus muscles. We're making sure that the band is not twisting as we pass the muscles, and we've cut the band uh, in a puzzle cut matching slanted configuration to make sure at the end of passing it that uh, the ends have met and there's no twist. Next, we secure the ends together using a number 70 silicone sleeve. We next place a mattress suture in each quadrant, four in total, in order to secure the band in place and make sure that the band is in the correct anterior-posterior position in order to properly support the vitreous base. The knots are rotated to the posterior aspect of the band in order to decrease the risk of eventual erosion. With sutures placed in each quadrant, this completes the scleral buckle portion of the case. The band will be tightened to the appropriate level. Thanks for your attention.